Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today we're going to be doing a little playthrough of the Penumbra tech demo. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Penumbra, it was the first game released by Frictional Games, who you probably know from their more recent efforts, Amnesia the Dark Descent, as well as the recently released Soma that we took a look at. So after that, I wanted to go back and look at this because, well, one of the first LPs I did was Penumbra, and I think it's kind of an underappreciated game that a lot of people didn't even know existed. Anyhow, the tech demo is different from the content of the final game, and with different enemies and everything, so I want to take a look at it and kind of compare. Now, this might not actually look great, because I can't really change any of the options in this without the game crashing. Like, the video options will require a restart, if you try to close the game out, it'll crash. So, this might not look the best, but we'll see. It all began a week after my mother's passing, and I thought that I couldn't be in any worse emotional state. So this is pretty simple, similar to the that original opening. That was before the letter dropped in my mailbox. Except, of course, the it voice acting is way worse. It was supposedly written by my father, who left my mother before I was even born. The mail contained a note telling me he was dead and asked forgiveness for not being there. There was also a key leading to a safe deposit box. I thought about just throwing it away, but I had always wondered who my father was, and I just couldn't let it go. After an internal struggle, my curiosity won, and I headed to the bank where the box was deposited. This is presumably just one of the guys at Frictional the doing box this voice was acting an old here. Book written in some strange language unknown to me. There were also some notes that I figured must be in my father's handwriting. The text in the notes was hard to read, but after some effort, I found out that a lot of them were about a place somewhere in Greenland. I wondered if this place might give me some clues about my late father. Days went by, and I couldn't get this place in Greenland off my mind. I knew I had to go there. Finally, I took a flight to Greenland. And after landing, I had to hitch a ride with a fishing boat. As we arrived at shore, ominous clouds were gathering in the sky. It seemed like a storm was on the way. Despite warnings from the fishermen, I started walking towards my destination. Now that I was close, I couldn't just stop and rest. As I was walking, a strange sensation went through my body. I wondered what was waiting for me out there. Of course. Half an hour later, I was caught in a fierce storm. Perhaps I should have listened to the fishermen. Since this is a tech demo, I can't really judge it just on polish, blindly, especially of stuff like this. I was about to die from exposure when I found some sheltering rocks. As I crawled under the rocks, I hit something hard and metallic. A hatch. Somehow I knew this was what I was looking for. I gripped the handle and pulled it open using all my remaining strength. Slowly, I stepped into the unknown. And of course, that cutscene also skipped over some of the stuff you actually had to play in the original game, like being on the fishing boat and struggling around trying to find the hatch before you freeze to death. Alright, so here we are. We're uh, obviously not in a mine shaft like you are at the beginning of Penumbra. We're just in some sort of uh, facility with a octagonal handle. I mean, Penumbra was pretty old these days, so... Obviously, things are going to look even older and rougher in this. But, uh... Okay. This is, of course, the original presentation of the sort of grab-and-drag physicality that not really a lot of games have done aside from, you know, Penumbra and Trespasser. I don't think I ever really used the glow sticks during the LP. Note, some painkiller bottle. What, can I not pick that up? Okay, I guess we can only pick those up if we uh, take damage. So it's been a while since I played Penumbra. So I don't even really remember 100% what stuff is, you know, new and different. Can I? Oh, I just have to get closer to it. Nope. This one's locked. So, you know, a lot of this stuff is fairly similar.
1993. And some sort of monster in the darkness, which I believe is one of the monsters that was not in the final game. I actually didn't even know this tech demo existed until recently. Otherwise, I probably would have done it, you know, during the LP. So this actually seems a lot closer to the stuff we see in Episode 2 of Penumbra Black Plague. Sort of skipping over the whole mine shaft of the first game. So I guess I need magnets to fix that? Do I have an inventory? Yes. Oh yeah, I think I did use a glow stick because it's uh it's not the kind you throw, it's just the kind you use without wasting battery. I'm assuming something is going to come up on us in the dark. Fire extinguisher's gone. No power. Is that a vent or just like a solid piece of metal? What's that? Is that a salt shaker? Sure. Okay, we can probably use that pipe to open that hatch, I'm guessing. Is it? Yeah, right click to throw something that you're holding, including a door. Okay, this one says perhaps you can bend it open, so let's try the pipe on this first. I might need like a wrench or something to open that gate, or grate. I can. That's not a note. I actually wonder if this flashlight will run out of batteries in the tech demo. It doesn't look like... Oh, no, there's our battery meter. Okay, maybe I should uh, not burn all that right away. I have no idea how long this demo is, either. I mean, wasn't this just running when we got here? Jolt Cola. Look, it's a tech demo. We don't actually need to worry about copyright. Wait, what? Is this a different generator right here? Okay, so we need to find some gas. I must get it down somehow. Can I just throw shit at it until it falls off? Or like, you know... Wow, you cannot jump very high in this. <laughs> Not exactly much in the way of uh, things to climb on here. Can I just like... Oh. Okay. Just fucking throw the whole shelf over, I guess I should have tried that first. Batteries, another salt shaker thing, and a book. Gas rope. I like this little uh, pulling up a bag animation, that wasn't in the final game. Oh, so this is supposed to be connected to this? Alright. So, I guess the hose is probably downstairs then. Or upstairs. Let's go up first. No, no, wait, that's where we came in. Durr. I thought we came in on this part down here. Okay, there's another door there. Anything over here? 
plank of wood, that's no good to us. A hose. Yep, yep. Probably can't go through that door until we turn the power on anyway. Some more batteries. Actually, do we have, I was gonna say, we do have dynamite, so does that mean we can actually use that if something attacks us? Because the first penumbra did have weapons, but the second one didn't. That tiny thing is now powering this entire facility, I guess. So we can't go the way we came, which means we'll have to go down here, and this door should open now. Okay, we can't go through there. Maybe we do need to go back the way we came. Oh no, there's another door here. Okay, that's just where we came from. I'm not sure what this uh, rusty texture looks is supposed to look like. It's kind of like coral. Coral. <laughs> well, so far there's nothing too spooky down here. Uh, the power still seems to be out in this hallway? Or there's... I don't know, the lights are just burned out, okay. Well, we're not going through there. Oh, there's a key right here. Can I... <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You can't just stick it back together. It's kind of weird if it's just attached by... Uh... Alright, so that means there's probably an enemy in this area, since you did have to sneak past stuff in the number. Probably need whatever that is. And maybe this battery? No. This is... Bathroom's locked. I can't remember if the glow stick will give us away or sneaky. Seems safe enough over here. Need to use that as a trap. Okay, so I'm guessing we probably want to either get to that vent or there's something on these shelves that we need. Some recorders, I guess we can't play them. VCR, maybe even a Betamax, I'm not really sure. I kind of recognize this room from Black Plague. Parasite makes you visualize spider eggs in this room that aren't really there. <laughs> I'm trying to make a ramp here. The uh, 
the object kind of weight, I guess, kind of feels off compared to the final game. Okay, I could probably get up this. Yeah, okay, we can't get through there either. Um, I guess there's nothing in this room we need yet. Okay. Some sort of bat thing. That worked out pretty well. It looks like it actually, yeah, broke the door off the hinges, but I was in the way, so the door couldn't fall. I'm not sure how that killed it, though. It's not really touching the door frame or anything. Oh well. I call that a success successful encounter with our first horror. And of course, those things were not in the final game. Alright, just a bloody jacket with no contents. Probably should have gone into that pitch black room. Um... Wow, we really just picked up a, a jar of liquid without having any idea what it is. Like, yeah, this will probably come in handy, I don't know. I'm no scientist. So I guess that was the only monster around in this area. We... Okay, yeah, I'm getting there too. Bathroom is locked. There is supposed to be at least one other monster type in this that wasn't in the final game. mattress, like, immovable? Oh, okay, the mattress is broken? It's, it's like I can grab it, but it won't actually move. But you can see that the, the valves are behind it. Oh, that's one of them jam my face through this thing to find the other ones. Alright. That worked well enough, I guess. Another jar of liquid? Why? Well, let's just take that, I guess. <laughs> let's close that. What? Climb into the drum? We don't have code, so. Let's climb into the drum, I guess. we use as a tool? Also, let's combine those into whatever this is. 
Because it looks like we can't go up there, so the only reason to go up this shaft is to go down there. But we need a tool for that, and that might have something to do with the broken key. We can't, like, melt the key together. It doesn't really make sense, but we're going to try it. Okay, so now we're going to have to figure out what I missed. I'm trying to think, like, what would you use to reattach a key? I don't think we saw anything that could heat it to extreme temperatures. There's nothing important here. Except this thing. Yep, there we go. Walked right past it. I'm also wondering, because this is a tech demo, how much of that stuff we saw before, like that vent shaft in that other hallway, is stuff that we need to go back to. It also seems to be auto-saving, which is, uh, in the main game you'd save it, these little artifacts you'd find around, so I guess we don't have to worry about that. Seems to be outsiders snooping around. Well, that's no good. 3654. Okay. Again, is that one of the doors that we passed, or is that just this area? Some more dynamite. Isn't that for cutting paper? I didn't think they really had a version of that for metal, but. What if we try using our key pieces on it? Okay. This thing is probably what we need, right? Whatever this is. Got a lot of batteries. Oh, I guess the batteries just go into the meter. I was going to say, I don't see uh, any way to fill them up. Okay, so we just need a power cord for that device so that we can, I guess, rebuild our key. Alright, I hear helicopter noises. What is... is this a, a machine shop? Actually, this doesn't help me because I can't jump on this box either. <laughs> it's too tall. I was gonna say, I don't think I can... I was considering jamming this box on the switch and then just standing on it. But I'm not sure if that'll work, so let's drag this over here. Also, I should mention we can't lift these because I guess this is really heavy or something. so high because I could put the box onto the thing but then I don't think this one box here is enough to get up on this and again we can't get on this box without that box okay so that is enough to get up there um, but we couldn't like drag this onto this huh. anything else we can work with here okay we got these things so we 
might be able to just make a ramp to the next one. I don't know if this has the rotational controls, though. Of course, I can't lift it unless I'm standing right next to it. Put this up here. It's, of course, demonstrating the physics puzzles of penum Penumbra, which are not quite Half-Life 2 seesaws, but... They have some silly puzzles in here, too. And you can usually cheat them by just jumping across something before it collapses like this. You're gonna tell me I can't reach that. I also wonder if I could have hit it with something to knock it down. Just throwing those batteries at it. Alright. Got that. The music is playing, so I assume something is going to come after us. Yep. Now, if only I knew what this was. It's clearly the answer to my problem, I guess. I don't know how it works. The original Philip, or not the original, the later Philip Lefresque was a physicist, if I remember correctly. With, you know, a smattering of other scientific knowledge, which kind of explains why he understands some of the puzzles about mixing chemicals and whatnot, but. Oh shit, I already forgot this. It's that note we found. 3654. Alright, this is probably one of the doors that we passed earlier. That could be a little bit of a, a hint at the turn got infection. I'm probably not saying that right. I'm sure I mangled that word throughout the entire LP and didn't even realize it. At this point, we're just backtracking. Still can't get in the bathroom. I wonder if this leads somewhere. Okay, this is back where we started. This is the first room. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that I said we could break it. Uh, is there anything here we can lift? Nope, it's all too heavy. <laughs> okay, throwing that didn't work. Maybe the acid we found? I missed. Got up. Okay, that's the key card we needed for the door, but we don't have a code for it, unless this has a code on it. Which it doesn't look like it does. So, I guess the vents now are sort of our fast travel between areas. Okay, we've already been in here. This is 
the locked door that we should be able to open now. In this weirdly padded room. Is that like a rubber carpet? That's not one of those bats, it sounds like. I think I just fucked my little barricade. It's okay. That'll hold. We don't exactly have a uh, electric wire or anything to deal with this this time. Nope. Nope. And... Alright, well... This room was a bit of a bust. It might have been a trigger, though. That that thing might have broken through somewhere we need to go. Oh, there's a vent shaft. We can just go through there. Yep, that's right. We jumped and unlocked that in midair. Well, I actually don't know how long this is going to go on for. I thought it might be fairly short, but we haven't even seen our... Uh, other critter yet, so I think I'm going to split this into a two-parter, or a three-parter, depending on how long it is, just so people aren't sitting through an hour-long video or whatever. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, and this is part one of the Penumbra Tech demo, and I will see you again next time, where maybe we see the resolution to this and see some spooky new monsters. Until then, you folks all take care.